Welcome to another Short and Sweets where the reviews are short and sometimes the samples are short as well. But no matter what, it's really sweet that it was shared with us. Yes, this one is a tall one. This is uh, Bar Sound Discovery or Disco as some like to shorten it to number 10. And look, it's a new label, a new look design. Look at that, a new design. Boom. I definitely think like the white label with the yeah. red band helps you differentiate which series sure. number it is. Yeah. And it really, it really does stand out. Mm -hmm. so. They are still providing all of the transparency here on the side. We'll get into the mash bill breakdown. We here. love some transparency. In a little bit. But this was sent to us by the distillery. We always want to be transparent about that. Speaking of. Every other one through nine, we have them all and we have bought all of those. All those. It's not like all of a sudden we're going to be like, yay disco, because we've always been yay disco. That's true. Some are always better than others, but that knows though. That knows <laughs> though. It's savory. It's a little nutty. It smells, it's one of those nose that kind of smells viscous, like it's gonna be, the mouthfeel is gonna be viscous. In all fairness, we have opened this. We did open it upon arrival, but my first thought when nosing this was, this smells like beam. Yes. This smells like a really great beam. And at 114.24, we're getting close to that, like this almost smells like it's in Booker's territory for me, but not quite. It's got something it's unique got, and different yeah, going on. A lot on. other mixed into it. It's more like roasted. I guess. Roasted, nutty, mm -hmm. I don't know. But there's also a brightness in there too. It's not just, sometimes with Beam, it's yeah. like deep, dark, oak, nutty, chocolate, and we're going down that path. There are elements of that in here, but yeah. there's also a counterbalance of brightness, mm -hmm. and I like that. All right, well, to your health. And it's nutty on the taste. <laughs> a little bit, yeah, it's yeah. got, again, I- Not overtly, but yeah. Since Beam doesn't technically disclose our mash bill, there are places on the internet will, that will say, Beam's mash bill is this, but they're one of those that doesn't uh, they don't tell you what their mash bill is. But since we're talking about mash bills, let's get into the breakdown. 62% of this is a Kentucky nine year. 18% of it is a Kentucky 13 year old. 8% mm. of it is a Kentucky six year. The 2% just sprinkled in is some Tennessee 10 year. Some salt and pepper. And then 10% of it is a Georgia 10 year. Georgia 10 year. 114.24. Yeah, it definitely does give a nice Gives hug. Gives a nice hug. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the mouthfeel. Again, what's for me, even if it's not beam, the way it's coming across is something that I've always liked about beam products in mm -hmm. this proof range. So I am very much enjoying this. And again, I feel like it's not just going down that nutty, dark oak chocolate path. It's got some lighter, brighter citrus spice, notes, a yeah. little bit of spice, a little bit of floral, mm -hmm. pulling it back in the other direction. So it's got, it's, you know, very cent centered. It's centered. It's got a zen on. In the past, historically, we have been known to love Discovery 3, 4, and I think 6? There is a video out there it's where really we good. do a, a ranking of them, mm -hmm. um, which, you know, I can't remember everything I've ever tasted and ranked. I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Yeah. I mean, part of me, you know, when there's big change, I think there's sometimes an inclination to be like, oh, I don't like the new direction. I want them to stay where they were. It's mm -hmm. a new label. We're blending in other things. I don't know. I'm scared. I don't really want to go down this path with you. I'm like in the passenger seat, like, come on, where are we going? Let's go. <laughs> Price on this has increased a little bit since Discovery One. I think when they came out, they're around 125, 129. Now they're- 139.99. 130, so 140. So yeah, uh, in the several years that it's been out, it has gone up a little bit, but not, not too much. And for the ages that are in here and the proof, uh, but more importantly, what it's tasting like, I'm still okay with that. Do I wish it was less? Of course. Of course we wish it was On less. On everything. I, I don't think you'll be disappointed by this bottle if you do get it at that price point. But if it's not the price point for you, I think it's nice that the distillery is now offering the Origin series. So if you want something that's still good quality, but you don't want to pay that much, you can pay yeah. literally half or less for the Origin series if it's available in your area. Well, before we go on with this, we wanna hit pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the t-shirt that I'm wearing and hat as well. Uh, the Glen Cairns and water glasses that we're drinking from today, uh, but also more sweatshirts, t-shirts, bottle cut candles, coins, and more always coming soon. That's whiskeyambitions.com. And you can join our community by becoming a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night. Join for as little as one buck a month. It helps support the channel. It helps us get other bottles and put out exclusive after the episode content, it helps us do barrel picks, which we release to then our patrons and more. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I, I do want to sort of, they, they give tasty notes since we've already given ours um, of the lion's share of the blend here, the 62% vanilla, cinnamon, and caramel with roasted peanuts. 
that screams beam to me. Right, the 10% of that Georgia, if you wanna know what that's bringing to the table, they say it's rich caramel, providing layers of flavor, earthiness, and depth. Okay. All right, all right. That little 2% of the Tennessee, by the way, orange peel, mixed nuts, and caramel. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, I think a lot of people are a little hesitant when it comes to when you see Tennessee blended in some stuff, but I do think the right age and the right percentage can give you a good, again, add to your well-roundedness of your whiskey. Yeah. I think, you know, I, I think I tend to fall in the category with other people when we're looking at too high of a percentage of that. Mm -hmm. It's just not my flavor profile, but yes. I think it can work when you're balancing it out with this other stuff. For, the, for that camp who sees any type of uh, particular Tennessee mash bill and they're like, oh, I don't know. Um, I'm not getting any of that normal flavor. You guys know what I'm talking about. Dickle, tickle. I'm not getting any of that in, in this blend. No, for sure. Yeah. I mean, the, the majority, the vast majority of this is Kentucky. Very crushable. Very um, drinkable. Like I know I said, this isn't a uncorking where we do recommend or not, but we'll throw it in anyway. <clears throat> I recommend this guy. For sure. I it's think good. being able to say that this would be in my top three to four, I'd have to try them back to back to say where this one ranks, but I would put them together. I would group those together. So I think that says a lot. When we think about price, the distilleries from which this is potentially sourced are playing in that range or higher anyways. Sure, yeah. So to take something, source all these products, blend them together, put them out, it's not unreasonable when you look at the marketplace. Of course, we wish everything cost less. We wish everything was free. Uh, lastly here, toasty notes that they give all together for this since we've, again, done ours. They say, toasted pecan, maple, and baked cherry lead to a luscious palette of vanilla cream, hazelnut, that's mm. interesting, and cocoa. I don't get everything picked out of there, but you know, taste is subjective, and but I, I feel like that's overall, a pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty good ride. I think that's for, a very fair description overall. Yeah. I definitely, now that you know, we looked at that, the pecan mm -hmm. comes through, yeah, and pecan. it's like this roasted toasted nuts, but not necessarily straight up peanut, because yes. I think those other things that were blended in are balancing that out. Yeah. All right, folks, that's where we gotta leave it. If you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thanks, Bartstown. Until next time, drink more bourbon. Mm -hmm.